Flash, a huge underdog here. Well, guys, let's jump into the game right now. Game number three, Bridgehead. KT Lorster Flash, Lee Young Ho versus SK Telecom T1 Class, Kim Do. Over here on the right side of the map, it is Flash in the red, our turn player. And his opponent, other side of things. Oh, was I too oh, Flash. So Flash. Don't jump the gun here, Wolf. There he is over there in the yellow. It's classic. Classic is classy. Mm. Um, He's using that classic Protoss color. Yeah. Buildings are, a lot of them are yellow. So this map is based, this is based on my first time. Um, the last time we saw this map was a two barracks proxy, right? That won the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that was this map, right? No, actually that wasn't even no, this no, map. No, no, it was Terraform. That was Terraform, okay. We haven't seen this map. So I have not, I've not commentated it. You and Moonglade, no doubt, commentated it at least once. Yeah. Um, I think it may have been Flash, actually. Yeah, it was, who proxied a barracks and then floated it into the back door. Ah, yeah, that's right. And made Reapers. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I remember that game specifically because it was like so confused as to whether the Reaper could jump yeah. or not. I think perhaps even for Flash as well. Uh, well, at, at any rate, um, you know, new map. I think that's the only time. That's the only game I've seen on it. So we'll see how this one's played. There's the, the thing about this map to note. Just already looking at it right now myself. I'm looking at the mini map. Is there are bridges? As you can imagine, bridgehead. <laughs> there are four bridges in the middle of the map. Almost like. Uh, is that so? It reminds me of a map called Destination, uh, to a certain extent. It's almost like a cross between Destination and Python from StarCraft 1. Like those two maps probably giving a little bit of uh, uh, inspiration this one. We did see oh. another another girl got grabbed here, but... Uh, Wolf, we got a probe going probe. in an interesting direction. I think that might just be the path. Oh, no, he's going to the no. south, though. Oh, it's definitely not the path. He can go to the yeah, north. The ramp's up there north yeah. of the base, and he does have both of his gases right now. The Flash with the Scout in this very similar build that we're seeing very many times here. Oh, you can actually block that off. All right. That's pretty cool. That's why those uh, destructible... Rocks? It's, they're just called Rockstar. <laughs> it's like, what are they? Destructible blobs. <laughs> they look much more like the rocks on... Destructible blob. <laughs> they look much more like rocks on your screen than they do on mine. I don't yeah. want to say what they look like on mine, but... Mm. Um, I got my settings on low, so I don't lag the game at all. Yeah. Moonglade set that up for me. Yeah. Good job, Moonglade. Shout out to Moonglade, he's still watching. Hi, Moonglade. <laughs> I miss you. I miss your map. It's the coolest new map in the pool. <laughs> it's all the rage. It's totally groovy. It is groovy, man. And this map is turning out to be interesting as well, at least in this game. Got oh. that proxy stargating on the way. And the proxy factory as well. Oh, Reaper boy. is going to see this, and he should know. I mean, it's very obvious. Both gas is taken at this point in time. He's Classic's got a proxy. Like, oh, I thought that, I thought with the tight wall the Reaper couldn't get in. <laughs> forgot he could jump. <laughs> uh, just I forgot about that unit. <laughs> it denies an SCV scout, but look, he sees it. Wow. Well, as we've seen time and time again, the Reaper cannot kill that pylon <laughs> unless you like see it right when the pylon is made, basically. Yeah. Or, you know, sometime around then. And the probe is there to reinforce it if need be. But uh, Flash very smartly gets out that fast engineering bay. He's going to have a turret up in his main. His uh, his natural is going to be pretty exposed, actually, though. Oh, he's just going to land this and drop Widow Mines. Oh, what? What? No. Yes. Wow. Yes. And you know what? They can fly over those uh, unjumpable ridges. Yeah, they certainly can. <laughs> and poke at the different buildings of the Terran. There's not a lot of room in the main to build buildings. It's very thin, okay. you guys will notice. Yeah. Oracle low on energy right now. Want to make detection obviously a bit of an issue. I think that further shows why we have this probe still over here, because it has to make sure this stays powered. This Plaster is turning into like one of the most fun series I've ever casted. Me this too. is insane. 
Okay, here comes that Widow Mine. This is what the Castle Cup's actually supposed to be all about. It's supposed to be a little bit more lighthearted than the, the hardcore Pro League matches and stuff like that. A lot of money on the line and WCS points, but still, it's supposed to be more fun. All right, let's see how quickly he reacts. Um, first of all, I have to react. Okay. <laughs> that was actually, like, literally perfect. Like, he did it at the last possible second. That would still work. Oh, my God. Flash is going to deny this. Yeah, he is. He There's can two kill pylons, his, but... He can kill the Stargate, I think. I think he could have actually killed the Stargate. Mm, maybe not. Not with Chrono. Would have been close. He even makes a pylon here, which he doesn't need. Yeah, he'll cancel that. Actually, you know what? Uh, he will need it because the Tempest can't defend this pylon. He's going to get to work on these Marines. Final finish up here. Oh, gets that Widow Mine. Looks like he got two more kills, the Widow Mine. <gasps> it doesn't reach. Oh, that man. is huge. He needs that to be powered for the strategy to work. What? That mule doing a sick dance, though. That is unbelievable. I'm like, who made this map? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That's not balanced. Well, it's that just so unfortunate. That dance to death like the original <laughs> Cinderella story in the German Grimm's Fable. Like, oh, God. That's that guy's cruel practical joke. He's like, Terran was overpowered. I made this map so the mules would dance <laughs> until they die. That's just so unfortunate, the, uh, the positioning of the engineering bay. I don't think he'll ever make it there ever again. Um, I actually... Oh, man. Oh, he has to micro these stalkers, though. I was gonna say, if he loses that pile, he's gonna lose the game. That's like a, that's a loss right there. Tempest getting to work on those two Vikings. Two more are about to pop out. Yeah, he should be able to kill that first Tempest. He's actually gonna lose it. Losing that pylon is actually what, you know, is really gonna hurt Classic in this game. He's still pretty ahead, and he's gonna trade really well with these Marines, just warping in more Stalkers. Ooh, I don't know what happened there. Oopsie daisy. It's okay though. He's yeah. actually going to poke at the front now, and there's no bunker. There's very few units. Vikings alone are not going to be able to defend against Stalkers. There is a bunker, actually. Okay, I'm, I'm wrong. Sorry. It's all right. Maybe once he gets his uh, second Tempest out here, he can get that for Vision and help out with the Stalkers, you know, start poking at the front, possibly. It's a very interesting build. Because you can get out enough Stalkers with the three gateways to help uh, against the Vikings here from the Terran. No. Oh! Now he's going to want to repair that. How do they do it? How do they repair like that from the ground? Oh, oh he man. killed the Oracle! So many things going on in different parts of the map right now. Like, there's a pylon up there. These <laughs> stalkers are getting to work on the back rocks. Like, don't forget the Tempest that's being made and the one that ran away. Here's him. <laughs> By the way, there's a Widow Mine and a factory in the main base of Classic. Yeah, and he lost all of his detection. Oh, he needs to target this one. He targets the correct one, but mm. the second one should be able to burrow. That's unfortunate. He's not. going to... I guess I'll never get mine. <laughs> but he, he's not in a good spot, actually. Unburrowing it is going to be pretty necessary. He's actually going to make an Oracle here. And That's you know what? He's just going to try oh, to keep making... The mine. Yeah, I think he's just going to try to attack the back with these Stalkers. Yeah, that's what it looks like. He's getting a huge amount of Stalkers right now. Flash desperately trying to get up some bunkers. There's no stim, and he knows it. And pure stalker beats pure marine with no stim. And I think Classic's next move is definitely to take an expansion. Can he kill the CC? I think he might. I think, I think he will. should be able to. Flash had no idea this was coming. He's totally blindsided. Scattered it too late. Oh! Just barely gets the Widow Mine, too. Don't forget about that, guys. That's still happening. Tons of bunkers up now on the map. Flash, with losing one CC is kind of a huge deal. Vikings going to get a nice position here, but the Stalkers to help out against the Tempest. Yeah. Just using again some more of that like high ground, uh, just to you know zone out the Tempest. Yeah, that's not a pit. That's the unbuildable train, man. I don't know. It's a high ground unbuildable <laughs> train. Don't think you can build on that. Unjumpable rocks. Yeah. Or ledges. Unblinkable rocks. Not ledges or not rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard thing, man, to describe. But you guys know what I'm talking about. The Vikings are actually going to go for a, a harass. They're going to actually that go for a land. Is this is so smart. I like this a lot. But he's got some stalkers back here. That's only two. He can kill those. But at the same time, is that enough bunkers? That's no. the question. I don't think so. And he's not even going to get the repair here. It's only two bunkers with only Marines in it and a ton of gateway units getting to work there. And in the meantime, tons of Vikings landing in the main. Vikings are killing a lot of probes here. But the key here is that Flash has no army, and Classic does. So even though he's got all these SCVs, I don't imagine he can actually win this game anymore. Those Vikings are not real fighting units. 
They can kill a Nexus and then fly away. And he's got buildings out on the map. Maybe Flash will try to just go for a race. Yeah, but... I mean, there's a pylon even down towards the bottom right. Yeah, he's just going to try to go for a race, but he can't win it. Also, there's probes on the map and 370 mils. Yeah. <laughs> this is so silly. Classic's got the much bigger army here. They're actually going to watch a worker battle. Let's just enjoy <laughs> it for a moment. Okay. Oh, boy. There's cheating. He's bringing the Oracle and the Stalkers. Yeah, yeah. They're not supposed to be here. All right, Classic will win his first game in the series. Fight me 1v1 IRL. Yeah. Not with you your buddies. Mate. <laughs> GG. Classic wins. This is, there you go. He gets himself back in the series. This is shaping up to be the best series of this tournament, man. Oh, yeah. And like, like of this tournament saying, and maybe this year, like, so much fun. Like you were saying, this is, this might be one of the best uh, <laughs> one of the best things I've ever commentated in my life. Uh, it's, it's a great series. It's really, really fun. Yeah. And I also want to point out, um, I think it may have been you who said it at one point, but maps really do shape the meta in a very big way, like, just seeing Moonlight Madness, uh, thanks Moonlight, by the way, for making that map once again. And even this map, you just get the most interesting stuff yeah. coming out here. Like, that game was just insane. And was, what I said, it might have been last night when you, uh, Mooney and I were hanging out um, about maps, is the maps are the stage for the show, you know? Yeah. You have a good stage, you've got a good show. If you don't have a good stage, you don't, you don't make the maps well, the stage is falling apart or the, the actors don't like going out on that stage, you know? You don't have a good show, and you look at the maps, it's like, that's where this tournament gets played, that's where all, you know, pro-level tournaments get played, that's where the ladder gets played. You set up a great place for this to occur, and you're gonna have a good time. People are gonna enjoy watching it.